We are on our way to Yellowstone. And Donovan needed a potty break. No, I didn't. But it turns out he's just standing here smelling the breeze. And we are in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty. But no poo poo. So we're done with that. Let's get back on the road. Bye bye. Well, good morning and welcome to West Yellowstone, Montana, which is basically half a mile outside the west entrance to Yellowstone National Park. So I'll show you around a little bit outside the RV. This is a very clean park. It's, it reminds me of Flying Flags in uh, Buellton, California, but we have our own little sidewalk path and a picnic table and a little grassy area here for Donovan. And um, showers and the restrooms are right there, which Patty's been using, but I mean, it's very well maintained, very, very clean. Um, we don't have a neighbor over here, so that's kind of nice. So, and then you can kind of see in the distance, there's like a tower over there. That, I guess, is a Zipline Adventures place, which we don't, I don't have any interest in doing and we don't have time to do. Anyway, um, so here's the plan. It is about 8.15 in the morning. We didn't get here until um, 5.30 yeah. last night. The office closed at 5. So we had to do a late check-in. First time on this whole whirlwind tour, we've had to do a late check-in. So, but anyway, we did it, and then I had to check in first thing this morning, which I did. But here's the problem. All the tours for Yellowstone leave at like 6.30 in the morning, and they bring you back at like 3, 4, 5. We can't leave Donovan alone for 8, 9, and 10 hours locked up. So, the only thing we could do is we found out that there is a budget rent-a-car, I guess, in the little town down the street, where we can rent a car. So I think that's what we're going to do. So, last night we sat out here at about 6 o'clock and put a reservation in to rent a car at 8.30, and they offer complimentary pickup. Well, I never got the email confirmation for the reservation because their office closes at 5. They open this morning at 8. Still haven't gotten an email confirmation. I called them and it said, press 1 for Yellowstone Adventures. Press 2 for Budget. Press 3 for Radio Shack. What? So I press 2. And they're like, this is Paul. Like, did I reach budget? Paul's like, oh, hold on. Um, he's with a customer. Let me get your phone number. I'll call you back. And here we sit. We're supposed to have a car in about 10 minutes. Apparently not. So we're just kind of sitting around waiting for somebody from budget to call us back pick us up, bring us to go get the car so that we can go explore Yellowstone ourselves. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the upper loop. 
which will catch pretty much everything like Old Faithful and um, the Mammoth Hot Springs and all that stuff. So if we can get going with the car, we will take you along with us and we'll show you what we see. And Patty's working. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye. Bye. Well, got the car, made it to Yellowstone. Here's your first glimpse. Christmas trees everywhere. We got a lot of ground to cover. So it's gonna be a lot of clips like this. <sighs> be prepared. Great. Check this out. Firehole Falls. Beautiful. Next stop, this is called Fire Hole Swimming Hole. Look at that. That is so neat. It's like rapids and rapids and rapids and the, all of a sudden it clears out into this pool. We're going to try to get a better look. We just met somebody who went down to the water and touched it and said it wasn't that cold, as cold as you would think. So I think we're going to try to do that. There's some steps right here. So let's see if we can go down. Fire hole swimming area. No cliff jumping. Damn it. Wow. Actually, looks pretty deep in some spots. Oh, it looks totally deep to me. Wow, it's so great. Okay, I got down to the water. Let's see. Ooh, it's actually not that cold. If the sun was out a little bit more, you could totally just get right in here. Very, very pretty. All right, we got a lot to see. Next stop, coming up. Check this out. Geysers and hot springs galore. There's even one way out there, too. We're going to 
going to get closer to him. So here we go. This is called Celestine Pool. Look how crystal clear that water is. Boiling right up from the earth. It's crazy. Touch it. No. I want to touch this. Just no. Just do it. I want to. Maybe I want to do it right now. Doubt it. There's a boardwalk out there. Through these. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I'm Making hard boiled that, eggs. Getting that good sulfur whiff. Oh, yeah. Pretty rank. And apparently, you can't touch any of it because some of it is acidic and it's actually burned through boots. Whatever. <laughs> this is Spasm Geyser. And I'd say the name is pretty fitting. Ooh, there's a little pool right there. Wow. All right. Next stop. There's a mud pot just burning out of the ground, bubbling. You can hear it. You can feel it. No, you can't. I'm just kidding. Shut up. We're not that close. But here's a big one coming up. I'll show you that in a minute. This is red spouter. I don't even know if you can hear me because that's the noise it's making. That thing's a beast. That never even existed before 1959. Crazy. Look at this one. It's bubbling. Fountain paint pots. Oh. I literally hear it. <laughs> that pink mud is just like... <laughs> <laughs> it is. This is really beautiful. Smells like hard boiled eggs. Hashtag nature. Just kidding. It's actually really crazy beautiful everywhere you turn around. There's another geyser. All right, we're gonna head back now, later. Midway Geyser Basin, I'm coming at you, boo. Coming up here is what I think they call Fairy Falls, and I think I know why, you'll see. some falls for you. 
I think it's called Fairy Falls, but I could be wrong. We're going to walk up to the top of this thing, see what's up there. Well, we found some green muck. These are pools up here, but they're so big. You can't see them because they're just full of boiling water. They're boiling sulfuric water. Try to get a better shot for you. No, I missed it. This thing is active. Just a minute ago it flew way up in the air. <laughs> this is Excelsior Geyser. It really looks like you could just get right in it. Take a nice hot bath. This is Grand Prismatic Spring. Well, look what we have here. We found ourselves some buffalo. One pretty darn close to the road, too. Getting zoomed in shots. Yeah, I did. You want to know how close I want to get to this. So there's like a little family over there, and they're pretty close. I'm not sure I would do that. Okay. Okay. And that's Buffalo. Yeah, they're too close. Well. There's Old Faithful. I don't think it's going to happen while we're here. we got to get on the road. So, after Old Faithful, we decided to go ahead and continue the lower loop, even though we need to get back to Donovan, who's locked up in the RV. Actually isn't feeling that well. So we're whipping through. We followed a tour bus full of people, and he was doing like 50 to 55 on these roads. There's like nobody in this park. I mean, I know you saw in the footage there were a lot of tourists, but aside from those people on those buses, on the actual roads, there's like nobody, as you can see. Nobody. But Patty has to go to the bathroom. So she is going in this little state park bathroom. She already went to one before and walked right out because it's basically a hole in the ground. So we're going to see if she actually went this time. <laughs> this is a little peak. Decided to go in a little porta potty. And it looks like she was successful. Hi. It's a hole in the ground, isn't it? Yep. But it was cleaner than the other one. All right. So anyway, we're off. We're, we're going about 50 to 55, whipping around these roads, but there's nobody on the roads, as you can tell. And just through there is a little peak of Lake Yellowstone. So off we go. Bye. These are the Lahardi Rapids on the Yellowstone River. Is it worth going down? Oh, it's just, oh yeah. How far down does it go? Not far. It's not far. It's not too far. But right down there, where you see the uh, waterfalls, it's gorgeous. 
Okay. 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 All right. Thanks. I guess. We're going. Here's a better view. I don't know what she was talking about waterfall, but these rapids are pretty cool. All right, back up we go. We got some big falls that we're trying to get to. We're on a major time crunch. Let's go. This is the Upper Falls. My phone's, my camera's gonna die. Wow. That is amazing. It's really good. Let me quickly get this for you before it dies. at the lower falls. I'm going to stick this over the edge so you can see it, but I'm actually not going anywhere you near can't the edge. See. There's a lookout way right there. out there. Look at all those stairs. There's a lookout way over there, and we're just we're not going to have time to do either of these. So, but it is beautiful, and I got to get away from this ledge because I seriously <laughs> I can't do it. I just can't do it. All right. All right. Peace out. Bye. I lied. I got the lower falls for you too from a different vantage point. <laughs> Here you go, one last look. Alright, gotta run now. I'll tell you one thing. Number one, I need to exercise more. Number two, I'm blaming it on altitude.
in the end, turns out, if I would have known that the roads were so well paved and well marked inside Yellowstone, we could have just driven the flipping RV along and taken the dog with us so we could have had a few extra hours there. But instead, we did everything we could, basically did the lower loop, and we did it in about five and a half hours. Not bad. And that's how you do Yellowstone in a day. Good night. This old town too long Summer's on